The Invasion. Some people never change. Some do. Jake is changing. Sometimes weird things happen to people. Ask Jake. He may tell you about the night he and his friends saw the strange light in the sky. He may even tell you about what happened when they realized the light was only a plane from another planet. Here's where Jake's story gets a little weird. He and his friends are told the human race is under attack. But they're given the chance to fight back. Now Jake, Rachel, Cassie, Tobias, and Marco have the power to morph into any animal they choose, and they must use that power to outsmart an evil that is greater than anything the world has ever seen. The Visitor. No one knows who they are. Nine lives are better than one. Morphing is certainly more fun than Sega. You can soar as an eagle and walk as a cat, but being an Animorph is by no means just fun and games. Rachel knew better than anyone. One of her best friends, Melissa, is acting very strange. And it looks like Melissa's dad, who is also the school's assistant principal, may be connected to evil aliens. Rachel can't tell Melissa what the Animorphs have learned, but Melissa doesn't seem interested in talking to Rachel these days anyway. Could Melissa be one of them? With the help of Jake, Cassie, Tobias, and Marco, Rachel plans to enter her friend's house as a cat, intent on unlocking the secrets from within. If only Rachel could keep her mind off mice. The Encounter Now you see them, now you don't. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Tobias. When Tobias, Jake, Rachel, Marco, and Cassie were given the ability to morph, they were also given one very important warning. Never stay in a morph for more than two hours. But Tobias stayed in a morph for too long. Now he's a hawk, with the boy's mind forever. And he's starting to forget what he looked like. He's losing control and wants to give in to the hawk brain inside him. Tobias knows he can't give up, but he spotted a rap down below. He turns in midair and plummets down to the earth. He's focused. He's determined. He strikes. The Message Sometimes you have to change a little more than your mind. Cassie's acting a little fishy. It all started with the dreams, but Cassie didn't pay much attention to them. She and her friends had all been having weird dreams ever since they'd first learned to morph. Maybe it was just some crazy side effect. Then Cassie discovered that she and Tobias had been having the exact same dreams. Dreams about the ocean. And a strange feeling that someone is calling to them. Calling for help. Cassie, Tobias, Jake, Rachel, and Marco have to figure out if the dreams are a message or a trap. And if it's a trap, it could mean the end for everyone. The Predator what you see isn't always what you get. Monkey see, monkey do. Marco never wanted to be an animorph. He never wanted the ability to change into an animal he touches. He just wants to chill. Whatever happens, happens. Jake, Rachel, Cassie, and Tobias know why Marco feels the way he does. He's worried about his dad, the only family member Marco has left. And if anything happens to him, his father will be all alone. But something is about to change Marco's mind. It seems the Yerks have a little surprise waiting for him. And it's definitely not nice. Now Marco has a reason to fight. The Capture. Now he is one of them. Superfly? It was really bad when Jake found out his older brother was one of them. It was even worse when Tobias stayed in his morph too long. But nothing compares to the horror the Animorphs are about to face. Nothing. Jake, Rachel, Tobias, Cassie, and Marco have a feeling they know where the Yerk's new base is located. And they've even figured out how to get in. How many people notice a few flies on the wall? But they never figured they might get caught, or that Jake could fall into the Yerk pool? That Jake could become a human controller? A Yerk? The Stranger. This time there may be no way out. A little something to bear in mind. Okay. Rachel and the other Animorphs have finally found the new entrance to the Yerk Pool. They've even figured out a way to sneak in. The infamous Roach Morph? But they didn't count on roaches being a taxon delicacy. This time, escape doesn't look so good. And then everything stops. Everything. The taxon, the human controllers, the hork bajir Time, now Rachel, Cassie, Marco, Jake, Tobias, and Axe are in for the wildest trip ever. They're going to get the chance to decide whether they want to stay on Earth and fight the Yerks, or go to another planet. And the guy giving them the choice says he can save them. 
Now all they have to do is make the choice. The alien. He's only human when he wants to be. Look who's talking. What would you do if you were the only alien trapped on a strange planet? Probably freak out, right? Well, that's what X feels like he's doing. But as an Andalite warrior cadet, he has to be pretty cool about stuff like that. He's been hanging out with the Animorphs ever since the dome ship was destroyed by the Yerks and his brother, Prince Elfangor, was destroyed by Visser III. Life on Earth is pretty different for X, but there is one thing he, Cassie, Marco, Jake, Rachel, and Tobias have in common. Something that one alien, four kids, and a hawk know they have to do. Stop the Yerks. The Secret. No place to run, no place to hide. What big teeth you have. There's something pretty weird going on in the woods behind Cassie's house. The place where Axe and Tobias call home. It seems the Yerks have figured out one very important thing. Andalites cannot survive without a feeding ground. Visser 3 knows the Andalite bandits don't feed where he does, so there can only be one other place. Now Cassie, Marco, Jake, Rachel, Tobias, and Axe have to figure out a way to stop a bogus logging camp, because if Visser 3 finds Axe in the woods, nothing will stop him from finding the Animorphs. The Android. Fear has a new name, Yerk. Along came a spider. When Marco runs into his old friend Eric, he doesn't think too much of it. He's got a couple of more important things to do, like helping to save the world. But then Marco finds out Eric's been hanging with some of the kids at the sharing, and he starts to think that something just a little weird is going on. So Marco, Jake, and Axe decide to morph and check old Eric out, just to see if he's been infested with a yerk. The good news is that Eric's not a human controller. The bad news is that Eric's not even human. The Forgotten. Nothing is as it seems. Here, kitty kitty. There's been an accident. Someone crash landed a Yerk bug fighter, and the Yerks have been trying to cover it up quickly. But not before Tobias spots it, so the Animorphs and Axe decide to steal the ship to show the world that Earth has been invaded. That's when things go terribly wrong. Before they know it, Jake, the Animorphs, and Axe find themselves in another place, another time and there's no way home. The reaction. Trust no one. Nothing like a crocodile smile. Rachel's got some pretty strange stuff happening. She can't control her morphing. One minute she's doing homework, the next she's morphing a full-grown crocodile. And without returning to human form, she becomes an elephant. That's when the floor gives way and Rachel finds herself looking up at what used to be the kitchen ceiling. What's going on? No one's sure, but Rachel and the other Animorphs have to figure it out quickly. Because if someone sees Rachel out of control morphing, the other Animorphs and X are in for some serious trouble. The change. Be afraid. It was only a dream. Or was it? Tobias has pretty much gotten used to his life. He's a red-tailed hawk with the mind of a kid. It was weird when he first got trapped in Morph. But now it's almost okay. After all, how many kids actually get the chance to fly? Now Tobias is about to make a very special choice. A choice that the other Animorphs and Axe know nothing about. And it could mean the difference between being a hawk and being human. If you've enjoyed this video and would like more, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's other series or mediums you'd like to see in this format.